Welcome back to the Sorcerer playthrough of Elden Ring, everyone. Uh, I'm back in the Aldus Plateau, but actually the comments of the previous episode reminded me of something very important. Very, very important. I don't even know how or why I missed this. There's an item that I should have picked up that I've not picked up. Uh, it's a sorcery scroll located here at the very beginning of the game. Listen, the thing is... I knew that this was here, but when I was coming through, I totally, like, I actually forgot to look for it. This unlocks probably currently thought to be one of the more OP spells in the game, which is Carrion Slicer. Um, Carrion Slicer is basically busted. Sorry, horse. It's... well, you'll see it, but... What it is, to spoil it, is essentially a uh, falchion in spell form. Oro used it recently in a PvP video and... You know... Oro likes to find the OP stuff, so... It's just how it is. And the Carrion Slicer is OP. Now, the thing we have to do here is not get knocked on our asses, but... Let's take care of these guys. And believe me, there is sort of an end goal to this. It's a bit pointless killing these guys, but hey. If I'm here, because actually that's what we're here for. Right here, the Royal House Scroll. Uh, all we gotta do now is move back to the church, the church, and give it to Muriel. I think Miriel, you can give all of these spell scrolls to Selen as well, but I think Miriel is a little bit more convenient. I mean, he can take all of the spell scrolls, so, you know, he got that going for him. Not a prayer book, but we're gonna give the Royal House scroll. He's a nice guy. So... For, well, I can get Glinstone Comet Shard. Uh, actually, I do have the souls for that. This is what we want. Carrion Slicer. Glinblade Phalanx is pretty good as well. And we need this as well and this as well. Now, you might be wondering how the hell I suddenly have 57,000 souls. The thing is, off screen, I did two things. I killed the Glinstone Dragon here, whatever his name is. And I killed decaying exekis. Um, I knew this, but I just didn't realize how weak the dragons are to rock sling. They are very weak to it. Like three rock slings stun them, so it was pretty easy to sort of get them stuck in a loop. Uh, let me just sort of organize my spells. So I think we can take these two. I want to check Glintstone Comet. This is essentially the soul spear of this game. I think this is the one that goes through enemies, if I'm not mistaken. Sorry, rabbit. <laughs> 644. <laughs> Oops. It actually doesn't... Oh, hello there. See? Yeah, that's the one. The question is how good the tracking is. These guys are still very powerful. I mean, just HP wise. But anyways, not the best place to, st to test spells. I just wanted to see, because I think I'm gonna go for Glintstone Comet from now on. I don't know if I wanna get rid of the regular Glintstone Pebble. I feel like it's still useful. Yeah, so this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna have Glintstone Pebble, Shard, and Comet. Just, just check out Star Shower. Yeah, this thing is bad. Um, I've heard about this spell. It's, I mean, it's fancy, but it doesn't do any, enough damage compared to a lot of the other ones. Uh, so I'm gonna put... Oh yeah, I also got, not this, not Shatter Earth, but 
rock blaster because there's another thing we need to cover it's just a more powerful version of shatter earth uh, but these close range spells i'm not a huge fan of okay we need let's get glint blade phalanx yeah and then we do want Loretta's. Oops, no, not like that. We do want Loretta's. Carrion Slicer and... Ah, but then I won't have space for... <laughs> Rock Sling or Carrion Greatsword, but I definitely want Rock Sling. Carrion Greatsword is pretty good as well. It's okay, I know where to get uh, another slot, so we should be Gucci. We should be Gucci. There is just one thing I want to do is test out Carrion Slicer because here is what it looks like. Yeah, it's broken. The reason it's broken is even though it takes a while to cast, I mean, just look at it. And for some reason, and I don't ask me why, spells in this game take stamina. Oh no, well, they don't take stamina when there are no enemies nearby. But essentially, Carrion Slicer takes almost no stamina. It takes almost no FP either, uh, making it very, very, very powerful. See? Do you see how quickly that got killed? Holy shit. Anyways, last spell to demonstrate. Glint Blade Phalanx. This is essentially like Homing Soul Mass. You get the 5 by default. Uh, what's his name casts this a lot? Mm, I always forget his name. Why do I always forget his name? I am genuinely drawing a blank. I'm officially an idiot. Spellcaster dude. Who turns out to be evil. <laughs> I'm so stupid. Anyways, spell demonstration over. Let's go ahead and continue here a little bit. Continue by upgrading our weapon. And to upgrade our weapon, we need to go to Celia Crystal, Crystal Tunnel. What I've done is I've basically cleared the path to the boss off screen because this dungeon sucks uh so i didn't want to inflict you with me raging at the cilia crystal tunnel uh this is one of the most annoyingly designed areas in the game uh with these fucking parasite thingies that shoot at you but anyways you come up here and you will essentially be able to access this place where the boss is and you'll be quite surprised as to what the boss is in this area or maybe not god these guys are so annoying and man carrion slicer is so good because for a boss we have ladies and gentlemen Another goddamn falling star beast. If you couldn't tell what that is. Unbelievable. Uh, we have two of them. I think this one might be slightly weaker. But. This is one of the most idiotic designs as well. You have a boss. A field boss. Which is designed to be fought in a giant open area with your horse. And they cram this thing into a tiny ass arena. They do this several times in this game. Uh, there's a magma worm as well, which is also a field boss. That is crammed into a similarly tiny arena. Gideon Ofnir, that's his name. <laughs> I got it. Yeah, this thing drops... Both the mining bell rings... But he also drops a Somber Smithing Stone 6, which is what we need to take our weapon to the next level, which we are going to do right about now. And here we go. 
see, I'm just thinking. We're getting close, aren't we? We are getting close. This carrion glint blade staff is. See, it needs regular smithing stones, luckily, which is pretty doink. Anyways, we have a plus six weapon now. Very, very useful. Gonna be, uh, yeah, just helpful. The, although my damage is not the one that's lacking, it's still my HP. Um, but the only thing I can do about that is just level up. Just slowly level up. I'm going to concentrate more on my, um, what you call it, magic or intelligence for now. Anyways. Where I wanted to start out, and my main goal with this episode is, as stated, head towards Mount Galmir. On the way to Mount Galmir, we'll be able to hit up several things. If preferable, or if possible, I will hit up the tower, which is here. As in, in the valley, because that contains... Alright. Noted. The tracking sucks on this thing. As in the Glintstone Comet. I do really like this now, by the way. Uh, this is We're getting to the point in the game that I wanted to get to. Where I have a good variety of spells. Playing as a sorcerer doesn't just come down to me spamming fucking glintstone pebble. Instead, from now on, I'm gonna be spamming carry and slicer, which is, well, slightly better. Man, that spell is so good. Why is it so. Oh, come on. Did he just friendly fire himself? Or themselves? Really strange. Yeah, essentially, if we can get down there, first of all, we have a checkpoint and a tree. You're still not going to give us enough to level up our flask because we're at stage four here, as in where we need four golden seeds. Still. Having three is better than just having two. So I ain't gonna skip out on this. <clears throat> Anyways. What we need to do is just... Move along here. I honestly don't even remember. Oh, hello there. She's here. I keep running into random NPCs. She ain't got no arm, is she? Does she? We got a Jamie Lannister on our hands. She is certainly there. She is certainly there. Unfortunately, Millennia is pretty difficult even with Carrie and Slicer, I'll tell you that much. Uh, and that is an understatement, saying that. Yeah, we have a Tibia Mariner here as well as a dungeon, but... Fuck it. The Mariner is gonna get it. These poor Tibia Mariners, they kind of they kind of suck, don't they? Oh, Big Skelly, Lord Volnir. I bet you. Where? Oh, he teleported. I bet you he gets destroyed by Carrion Slicer. I can, I can feel it. I genuinely don't know where he is. Oh, there you are. Oh, it's teleport like half a fucking kilometer away. 
Oh no, actually. Have we found an enemy not weak to carry and slicer? God, these things are so easy. Poor Tibia Mariners. The design is really good though, obviously. Drawing from Greek mythology uh, with sticks. Whoa! Okay. Volnir, chill out. What the hell is that hitbox? Okay, get out, get out. I The last thing I want to die to is a Tibia Mariner. Come on, Tibia Mariner, what the hell? Embarrassing me like this. Yeah, this one actually does have quite a lot of HP. Uh, this is an advanced Mariner. Oh, come on, you're gonna spawn the thing right on top of me? Hey! Carry and Slicer works like this off of the horse? That's pretty good. Yeah, this one just has a lot of HP. My weapon does more damage, so... I'll stick to... I'll stick to my actual weapon. Man, this guy likes killing his own minions, and that is an understatement. Bad move to be a mariner, you just screwed yourself. This is... Did you see that? That is some advanced souls combat. Don't even think about teleporting. God, I'm getting dizzy just looking at this. Yeah. No Tibia Mariner can keep me down for long. Tibia summons. That's a... That's one of those. I think it's an in spell which takes faith. I think. Or is the other way around, that it's a miracle that takes int. This game is full of weird shit like this. Um, and learning from previous Souls experience, these types of spells always kind of suck a little bit. Outside of Dark Souls 2, um, what you call it, hexes, which take both, but that's different. Because it's like, you need to be investing in both of the stats anyways, and then you're just like spreading your stats too thin, in my opinion. Maybe it's different in this game. Like, you know, you had that useless ass Velka Talisman from Dark Souls 1, which just didn't work. It was a Fate Talisman that scaled off of Int. So you needed a ton of Int, but you also needed all the Fate to use the spells, and it's like, you're just screwing your stats over... Question is, am I going the right way? No, I'm not sure because doesn't this lead to the poison castle? Oh shit, yeah, it does. I should be up there, boy. Anyways, if we're here, we might as well hit this up. This is gonna be a, a sort of traveling episode. Anyways, it seems like Mm. There's something very important here, though. Thank fuck I didn't forget. Hell yeah. We did not come here in vain. Because right here... Right here... Is a little surprise. Somewhere. Or am I getting my areas mixed up? It's very possible. But this is where Azul is, right? Ouch. <laughs> and the dude. <laughs> what the hell is he doing? Is he just, like, suiciding himself? Can you, like, fall? Thank you. 
and you should be gone. No, you're not. You're almost done. Okay, where are you, NPC? There you are. Flawless combo, by the way. A tracking spell and a slow spell. Man, enemies do not know how to deal with that shit. What the hell was that? Get carry on slicered. So if I remember correctly. Shit, she's he's not here, is he? No, he's on Mount Galmir, but the area looks almost exactly like this. Ugh, I'm stupid. So there is a corpse of a sorcerer, Azul, who's pretty important. And I honestly thought he was here, but he's not here. I just realized. Yeah, again, it's I got confused because the, the zone, like the layout of the area, or the look of the area is almost exactly the same as this one. So that was the source of the confusion. Whatever, let's actually head to Galmir. Which I'm probably gonna speed along a little bit. So that you don't have to see my awful sense of direction. Okay, so I'm not tr just trying to get killed here, but if I remember correctly, uh, this church is fairly important. Yeah, it contains... Yeah, yeah, it contains a boss. The bleed boss. And a rapier as well. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Sanguine Noble. Who's gonna get fucked up. Unless I'm gonna get fucked up by his rapier. Let me using Glintstone Comet. Oh, that's fast. I didn't know it was that quick. Once you start casting, Jesus, it's... No wonder Gideon was screwing me, because he uses the same spell, doesn't he? He uses a lot of the same spells. So that was the Sanguine Noble. Just wanted to stop by and show that. Bloody healers. I mean, it's a blade. It's a bleed weapon, so you kind of expect what it's gonna do. No bleed weapon is bad. I'll just say that much. Or not many of them. All right, here we go. This is more like it. I mean... Mount Galmir... This is not a difficult area. But I might just be saying that because I was doing this after the capital. In fact, I came down from the mountain top of the giants to do this, so... I could have been OP. I guess we will discover now. One thing I'm definitely going to do is ignore the hell out of the abductor virgins. Which is, again, that is what they're actually called. Don't shit on me for naming, like, boy, you just made that up. No, they're called abductor virgins. Instead of virgin abductors, which... 
Actually, not sure if that would have worked. You might as well call them incels at that point. God, the dogs. Fucking dogs. Always. Nice dodge. Man, I love having good spells now. It's so much more fun than just, you know, again, doing this all the time. Nice jumps. <laughs> Did you see her? <laughs> that is quite awesome. Gideon Offnir ain't got nothing on me. She's actually pretty good at chasing down. Oh, no, don't, no, you're not gonna ruin the fun. Oh, you've got to be shitting me. I was having such a nice PvP match with her. Dogs, always the dogs. What did I tell you? Carrion Slicer it is. <sighs> Dogs. That actually looks like a fairly good weapon. Sacred Butchering Knife. I mean, obviously this is built based off of Mildred. Maneater Mildred. Just like her weapon, her... Not her looks, because... Mildred sure as hell don't look like that. Uh... But sort of the vibe, you know. And I'm almost... I almost want to bet money that this thing can fuck off. But I always want to bet money that the Sacred Butchering Knife... Oh, they, they do have friendly fire. Restores HP on use. Because that's like the big feature of the Butcher's Knife. Both in this game... I mean, I, both in Dark Souls 1 and Dark Souls 3. So I almost want to bet you. I completely missed this ladder. Like, for quite a long time, by the way. If you weren't aware. I needed to look up where the hell to go. R I knew it. I knew it restores a very small amount of HP when it squarely strikes an enemy. I knew, like... It's too predictable. I'm one step ahead of this game. Jesus, they give you a lot of... <laughs> checkpoints. They're not shy with that shit, are they? Anyways. We have enough to level up. Before I forget. Cool, cool, cool. Two left. Oh, so perfect. And we're still not there. We're still gonna use the meteorite staff because it's after 40 int where the other one starts getting better. Of course. The thing you need to consider is that that comparison might have been made with fully upgraded versions of the weapon. Which, if that's the case, then... It changes the calculation a little bit. Don't ask me why I'm, like, killing all these guys. It's completely pointless, actually. Aside from the runes. We have access to Galmir anyways. And again, as I said, I do quite like this area. Sorry Wolfos, you're not gonna... You're not gonna hold me up. You get to live today. Unless I like... Oh! 
What is this? What the hell is... I genuinely totally missed this. Am I seriously that blind? That I missed this dungeon? Bruh. Where the hell does this go? This go. Galmir Hero's Grave. I legit completely missed this. Very good. Well, we have we have a dungeon. I said, but by the time I was like halfway down the elevator, it was so long that I was I was thinking it was gonna lead me to like some shortcut back to Altos Plateau or something. Anyways, what I really want to do is get to the map. That's objective number one. There is no objective number two, aside from continuing in the area. Cool. So, as I was saying... Hold on. Oh, that's why I missed this, because I didn't come this way. What the hell? There's a lot of weird shit going on in this town. Oh, is this like guiding you? I think it is. Rainbow stones lead the ways to riches. It's gonna be patches. It has to be. But then... Oh! It's a grafted scion. Oh yeah, there is one here. Cheap ass grafted scion. What do you do against carry and slicer? Nothing. And meteorite. Cut range. Damn the range. I mean, he's certainly swinging, but. Ooh, shit. Take some FP. God. This has to be the hardest tutorial boss ever. Right? As in, this has to be... Yeah, when you think about it, just their moveset and how everything works. I cannot think of an opening boss being more difficult than this one. Yeah, there's no way. Insanely hard. I mean, I try my best always to beat him in the tutorial. I mean, this is only my second playthrough, technically. But I never even... I don't even see how you would get close, because it actually has a lot of HP. I mean, I mean, people have done it, don't get me wrong. But it's just a bit crazy. Anyways... While I do hate not properly wrapping up an episode at a bonfire, I think, just looking at the time, I think it's time to wrap it up here, sort of. There is a checkpoint close by, I know it. We'll just get to it in the next episode. It does block! It blocks a single attack. I used the wrong thing. It blocks a single attack. It's not good though. Um, it's a little bit better when the enemy version uses it. But what's gonna happen here is I will advance up Galmir, we'll hit up the checkpoint and 
yeah we'll just continue on in the next episode so until then I want to thank you guys very much for watching hope you enjoyed this episode of Elden Ring the Sorcerer playthrough again I'm super happy where we are in terms of sorcery wise because finally we have an interesting select I hate these things so much can I I hate these things so much uh, painful painful it's a long way too up here anyways I'm still happy with my sorcery spells that I currently have gonna wrap it up here thank you guys very much for watching hope you enjoyed and I'll catch you next time peace out and goodbye